Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of caviar driving and I uh, just kind of want to show you guys how much you'd up, you know, you generally make in a few hours worth of caviar. Now today is Friday, so they do have overtime pay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how much uh, you can make. Um, also, we are in quarantine partially in quarantine actually some parts of uh oregon this is where i'm at oregon they uh they loosen the restrictions up a bit so yeah we're going to see how much we make today now unfortunately i just started it's 5 30 p.m it would have been much more fair if i started way earlier probably around 3 30 is when caviar starts to become busy and um and so yeah um so we'll see how much see how much we make uh, I assume we roughly will make about a hundred dollars maybe uh, the thing about caviar is tips come later so they're delayed by like two hours or so or whatever but um, yeah we'll see how it goes um, over here I already got my uh, first order over here at base chicken <sighs> all right talk to you guys soon okay I just pulled up to the first one Nice little condo or apartment. Okay, so just delivered my first order for the day. Um, we're here at this big building apartment. It's a little bit annoying, honestly. The most annoying parts are having to, um, when you arrive at the building and then you can't get inside because they didn't give you a code or they're not picking up. So you have to call them, ask them to come downstairs or to buzz you in or whatever um, so that's kind of annoying um, yeah so we'll kind of see how it goes um, also caviar is what I'm using it's not as uh, popular as uber and um, uber eats and not as popular as DoorDash Grubhub so not as many people use it so there's less kind of deals kind of business going around so you get less uh, less jobs and everything um, I remember clearly, I don't remember if I said this, but uh, we, for like um, caviar, you usually don't have anything to do, like until 3.30, and then, then it starts to get busy around that time, and you kind of have to go to the hot spot, which is like in the middle of downtown. So I'm kind of off from there, like eight minutes eight minute drive away from there, and so I have to drive back there to kind of get anything else. And, um, caviar usually by by eight o'clock by 8 30 there's really nothing else to do unless it's like a friday or a saturday they don't give you any more jobs so you kind of have to sometimes supplement with like grubhub or um any other one you know in order for your time to be worth it um but i do find that grub or a caviar is the highest paying so that's pretty neat anyway so now i'm gonna go ahead back to downtown portland to get the next order just arrived um Good thing it wasn't that far of a drive and I'm in the city. My next order is already ready for me. So we'll see how this goes. Um, here's the food. <clears throat> Smells quite interesting. All right, order three. Let's go. Let's get this done. Um, another order, $9 base pay. That's plus $3 for um, the time we were doing and then tip see how it goes i'll do a screen share or not a screen share kind of like a screen record of how much i basically earn at the end of the day um, later tonight when everything starts to come in and everything i came down actually and picked up the order didn't have to you know go inside try to get inside call them or anything see these are the type of people you want shoot i'd give him a tip yeah, he just came up straight to my door. I was like, hey, I'm the guy picking up your order. I'm like, sweet, all right. Handed it to him and everything. Yep, pretty neat. Got my, I think this was the fourth order now. Always gotta have that business card over there. Now we are in the front of the very famous Luck Lack Kitchen. This place is really good Vietnamese uh, restaurant. Um, yeah, so just checked out this new chopper. Looks like something I'd get. Looks very nice, actually. Okay, so fourth order. I think it's another $9 order. Base pay and then $3 and then tip. 
So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so here I'm at my fifth order, uh, Toro, a place called Toro. Pretty interesting place. Anyways, um, yeah, also another $9 order. Today's uh, pretty high pay. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, so a few things I wanted to say was, um, <clears throat> so people were asking about um, if it's a good idea having like running like two apps at the same time. So like, for example, having Caviar open and also having like Grubhub or DoorDash open at the same time. Uh, the issue with that is that they keep track of your location. So they'll send you an order from here, you know, and then they'll, they'll send you, you know, this way. But then you might get another order from, you know, the other app and it will send you that way, you know. Or, for example, they'll send you here for the first order. You accept it, they send you here. You're already here. And then you don't get anything for this order. And then that order or uh, that app will send you an order to pick up from here. So you'd be just driving across the city. And frankly, you'd be wasting a lot of gas. You'd be spending a lot of time. I found it actually better just to stick to one app at a time. Um, sometimes you might get lucky and, um, you know, score, you know, two, like picking up an order, picking up two orders, <clears throat> like one order from this app, another order from that app, from one location really close to each other and one other location that's also really close to each other and then delivering them to the, like basically the same areas. You can get lucky like that, but that's very rare. Actually, it's pretty surprisingly rare. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, let you guys know, um, seven o'clock so i've been doing this for about two hours a little less <clears throat> now i'm probably gonna do this until 8 30 or until i stop i run out of orders and i'll let you guys know how much i make um like i said earlier it would have been much better if i was to if i was to start earlier like at 4 30 or 4 or even 3 30 <clears throat> i would probably made a lot more money maybe almost double the amount of money i'm making i'll be making now probably not double but you know I'll probably make 150 on this one I'm um, at most but I could have made $200 if I started at 330 anyways yeah see you guys then we got out behind us dirt bikers Woo! this is really unfortunate that train just started uh, this happened to me before in the same place multiple times um, not only is this a uh, place where I drop the food off way out of the way, like way out of downtown Portland. I'm talking like 17 minutes away drive. But now I have to wait for this train. And that's honestly probably going to kill 40 minutes of my time. The fact that I had to go back to downtown Portland and now I have to wait probably 20 minutes for this train. So unfortunately this train um, is still going on and don't see any signs of it ending. And unfortunately I can't find another better way around this train. There isn't really any way. I mean, I could go that way. So like go back and then turn around and go that way. But I'm probably just gonna catch the train again because <laughs> the train's going that way. So, yeah, we're just gonna sit here and wait until the train goes. I was wrong, it's been more than four minutes. It's been about 10 minutes, maybe getting close to 15 minutes. This is a very, very long train. Don't see the end. Actually, great, <laughs> there's the end. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely lost a cool, maybe 40 minutes on this drive, a little more. Okay, so it's about nine, nine o'clock. Uh, didn't get any orders for some time, so it looks like I'm heading home. Um, just kind of expected. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I did like I think I did like seven or so deliveries. Yeah, about seven. Okay, show you guys later how much I made. Okay, as we come to the app, um, just letting you guys know how it works. The top right button shows how many orders were completed. And as we go and mess around the app a little more, if we slide the top button, 
it allows us to actually go and deliver, so online or offline. Um, then as we come into the middle one, it gives us how many, uh, how much we got in tips. Now they are delayed by a few hours, and the most tips I got was twelve dollars, and the least was zero. Now that shows us how much I earned today it was one hundred nine, but I actually earned one hundred seventeen after all the delays and everything. Um, that you know, this shows us everything. Also, one thing I wanted to let you guys know is uh, please like, follow, and subscribe. You know, thank you guys for watching my video. Appreciate it. Um, and have any questions? Comment down below.